and there you go. So now it is the first week of the season. You should have your conquest, whatever. And you, I now have two set on my Miss Weaver. Yeah, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Season three has started. I am bringing you a quick video on how to gear, not only this week, but for the rest of the season. And with that said, let's jump right into the video. The first thing you want to do is please spend your honor. If you're a PvPer, odds are you have been honor capped for a week because we didn't have any honor gear last week. So you probably have about 15,000 honor. Go to the honor vendor and buy your gear. If you don't have honor if you're new to pvp if you're trying to get pvp gear i highly 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 recommend doing the battleground blitz the queue time is really short and you get a ton of honor whether you're a healer or a dps it doesn't matter you get a decent amount of conquest but more importantly you get so much honor even if you lose so if you need the honor go do the bg blitz next you want to come over here in the pvp hub and get these weekly quests these are for the world pvp and for battleground quests they change from week to week and you're also going to talk to this vendor right here to get the sparks of life quest this is on a rotation depending on the zone and what this quest is going to do is it's going to give you trophies and trophies are really really important because this allows you to buy gear you're going to get this trophy of strife you're going to go come back to this vendor hand it in and you're going to have the option to get the vendor gear so this right here you're going to need some bloody tokens odds are that you probably have some bloody tokens if you completed that quest and if, if you don't you could just do the world pvp quest it's completely fine just make sure you have war mode on to see it and you should be able to just look around the zones and you can see oh look here's here's a pvp world quest you get a you get i think you get like one or two hundred when you complete it even if it only offers gear you're gonna go here and you get kind of a pickin so you can buy these i think you get eight trophies from the from the quest so you can get this 486 gear for pvp and that's why it's so important you can do this every single week so if there's something like a weapon on here that's really good it costs 14 trophies you're just gonna have to wait until next week to get the the weapon but you'll be able to have it and it'll be fully upgraded for a pvp next you're gonna want to win one pvp anything a skirm an arena a battleground rbg it doesn't matter but what you're going to want is you're going to want to want one of these boxes and what this box is going to have is it's you're going to open it and you're going to get a quest this quest is going to give you two free trophy upgrades when you hand it into the conquest vendor now these are free you get two of them i think it's one for the boots and waist and the, it, the other one is for the legs chest helm and this is important because if you have any gear that you need to upgrade you're able to do that you should have gotten a spark last week if not you can get it this week from the new emerald dream zone i think you just go to the emerald dream and the quest is right here and you should be able to get a spark once you get that spark you're going to come here to valdrak and i'll show you on the mini map here right right here and you can put in a or work order request to recraft any crafted gear that you have so for example i had precog boots so i upgraded it to 489 i used the one of the trophies i recrafted the boots i put the trophy here i used the new spark of dreams that allows me to use this new this new trophy and i was able to just get it upgraded which is fantastic so for just for doing one pvp anything getting that quest done and having the spark i now upgraded my gear from 450 to 489. the next thing you're going to want to do is just pvp and you can do it in any form you're going to want to farm conquests from arena rbgs you can do the more casual random battlegrounds epic battlegrounds battleground blitz blitz it doesn't really matter how you get it just get conquest with that you can be able to buy a piece of conquest gear so i bought it for miss weavers you want everything for your tier besides the legs i would also recommend buying tier the one tricky thing about buying tier is there is a chance you can get it from the vault so it is a little bit risky i'm just gonna go for it because miss weaver two set is really good so if your two set is really good and you're able to get two set this week i would do it but that's just me and what you're able to do once you buy conquest gear is you can buy it you can use the new catalyst it is open this week and convert it to tier right here on thou Draxis, i believe that's how you pronounce it and i'm getting attacked right now but right here on the mini map is where the catalyst is is where last season's catalyst was when you buy the tier piece or a tier slot which is your helm shoulder chest gloves or legs you just come here you click on it you should be able to get one currency every two weeks it's not every week it's every two weeks and then you can just convert it so what i did is i bought the shoulders i converted it to tier with the catalyst and now i have one tier piece finally if you want to get two set this week or at pretty much any point in the season you want to complete this achievement this is dragonflight season three master you get this by completing the achievement heroic emerger soul the dreams hope getting challenger which is 1600 in arena or getting keystone master in mythic plus when you get this achievement you're going to get something mailed to you it's going to be a currency for one of the vendors it's going to look something like this you're going to get this item and you're going to bring it to the vendor 
the vendor is located here in the Emerald Dream. You're going to have to unlock the Emerald Dream, so you're going to have to do this intro quest. But once you do that, just fly here on the mini-map and click on this vendor. So here, do not fall for it. There is both heroic and PvP gear on this vendor. So please do not buy the PvE gear if you're not pve -ing. Go get the PvP gear, and I would recommend buying the helm, chest, or legs. The reason for this is because that costs more conquest, so you're saving yourself conquest. As far as Mistweavers go, I would recommend probably going helm or chest. I think I'm going to go with the chest, haste verse, and make sure it says elite underneath the name. Very, very important, and I'm just going to buy it. Boom. And there you go. So now it is the first week of the season. You should have your conquest, whatever. And you, I now have two set on my Mistweaver. Finally, I know this is mostly geared towards PVPers. So, you know, I'm probably not going to get a lot of, you know, I'm probably not going to do it. But Raid Finder is open this week. You do get the first few bosses. I do believe there is a chance to get one tier piece off of one of the bosses. So theoretically, the first week of the season, you could get three set and then you could also raid. I know you know, listen I know none of you are going to go into the raid I know none of you are stepping a foot in this raid <laughs> but you know LFR normal is normally pretty easy just find a group or something to just get the first few bosses done you could do LFR first three and then the normal first three but yeah you can raid there's a chance you can get some some tier and that is it for me hopefully this was helpful for anyone that might be struggling on where to start I know it's overwhelming at the start of a season with everybody doing everything trying to get gear so hopefully I broke it down just try your best use your honor gear get the honor gear farm out your conquest upgrade gear that you've already done do the quest to get your sparks to upgrade your, your crafty gear if you've already done it and try to your best to get 1600 so that way you can get a quick free piece of gear which is amazing that is it for me hopefully it was helpful for anyone hope everyone has a fantastic day hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you later.